know. Uh uh. All right. What is going on here? On the table, Minecraft Survival Mode Night of the Zombies. Four figures included in this large pack with fences, people. Fences! On the back of the package, some information on the figures included the Iron Golem, the Librarian Villager, the Zombie, and the Fences. The Fences! Also notice looking down below, some future survival mode figures, that crawling spider, a hostile zombie pigman, arrow firing Alex, and a blue shearable sheep. It's all about those shearable sheep, isn't it? We also have a little information blurb up top. Iron golems are powerful and friendly utility mobs that are great at protecting villagers against zombies and other hostile mobs. As a kind gesture, sometimes the Iron Golem is known to give a poppy to fellow villagers. One way to protect the village and keep out zombies is to use fences, which zombies are unable to jump over. Alright, let's remove these from package. I am very interested to see how large this Iron Golem really is. Outside of the amazingly plastically tight packaging, we have the zombie, the baby zombie, the librarian villager, and the iron golem. And yes, my assumptions were correct, that iron golem looks huge. But let's start off with the zombies first. Ah, always with the zombies. So we have a standard zombie to meet. Ah. How you doing? And a baby zombie to meet. Ha! Hi there. The zombie figure looks pretty much just what you would get with, say, Steve, only instead of one arm moving with the action feature, the zombie likes to deploy both arms. And they flip up really good. And of course we have articulation in the hips there. You can do some rotation on the head. Sometimes you can do rotation on the waist, but I don't see that going on with this zombie. So pretty simple, but it's always nice to have a zombie included. Then we have the baby zombie. A small little figure, pretty much like the large zombie with no action feature. You can move these arms up, rotate the head, and the legs a little bit too. Interesting to note though, it is still a little bit larger than the Jazzwares zombie, from a few years ago. You want to go play on the playground? Yeah, I love playgrounds. Let's go. Can't catch me. Oh yeah? Bah, kids these days, brains, brains, brains. Next up is the librarian villager, which is pretty much the same thing you're going to get if you have already picked up the priest villager. You want to have a unibrow eyebrow contest? How does that even work? I really don't know. So like the priest villager, the librarian villager is pretty much the same thing. We have a toy with a couple special surprises. Rotate around here, we have a switch. Pull that down and it will open up its arms and show off a special item that it's trading with. Looks like the set comes with an emerald, a compass, and a book to place inside. And it's pretty easy to do. I always put these in upside down. Just watch me. There we go. Close up and he's all ready to trade. So pretty neat little feature. Functions nice and smoothly. And we've got little moving legs down here too. When you're done with the items, look no farther than the villager's own bum. He can store things back there. Always nice to have another villager around the town. I'll take these. 
Next up is the Mighty Iron Golem. Or shall we call it Loose Arms Golem? Hey, it's not funny to make fun of other golems' arms. So yeah, probably the largest figure yet out of these survival mode figures. Here he is up to Steve, several head heights higher. Well, maybe one and a half. Quite the hulking piece of plastic. The golem a little bit clay-like in color. I would have liked it to look a little more irony. Kind of like the Jazzwares version. What are you looking at, Tiny? Don't call me Tiny. So again, like most of these survival mode figures, we have an action feature lever on the back, and I have a feeling we're gonna press this and his head is going to explode. Oh, I guess not. But there we go, the super long arms reaching out. Although we probably should give him a poppy to hold on to. Oh, I thank you. It's sure beautiful. I wish I could get a poppy. Oh. So for the most part, I am most pleased with the Iron Golem. This is definitely the main feature of this pack. A couple extra things, it looks like you can smoosh up his arms a little closer to his chest if you like it that way, or if you like to have them reach out a little bit, you can move them around. It sounds great. We have rotation on the waist, rotation on the hips, and uh, no shoes for this guy. He could really use some uh, soft sneakers. Might help him stand a little bit, but a really fun figure. Let's look at those fences. There's nothing more exciting than playing with fences, right kids? And surprisingly, it looks like this set comes with a lot of pieces. Always seems like we get shorted on stuff like that. Got a bunch of pieces here. Do they all break apart? Ooh, I like that. So we have a several posts with horizontal sticking out. How many total? I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six posts and horizontals and one with a little gate. That's kind of important, although they're not standing very well on their own. So let's make a little corral, shall we? Mm -hmm. Wait, what am I doing wrong here? Ah, there we go. It took me a while to figure that out to make a small little square corral. You really can shape these to do several different arrangements, but this is the arrangement you need to kind of protect your villager. Hop on in, villager. I don't want to. Go for it, zombie. Get the villager. Oh, I'll do it. Ah. So yeah, a protected villager inside the fence enclosure there. Kind of a neat feature to the set. Don't forget you can take off these gate pieces off the posts, that way you can get them in the right spots. And it looks like they're gonna hold up pretty well. I don't see any fatigue yet in the plastic. Now we just need a house to put them in front of, I suppose. I guess we'll just have to use it for that giant playset again. So if you like playing with fences, this is totally the set to get. Ha ha ha, you're out of the fence. Oh, darn it. I'm going to eat your smart brains. Minecraft Survival Mode Night of the Zombies appears on store shelves fall 2016 and runs around 50. But look for sales, you might find it for 40. If you are into big hulking iron golem figures, this is the set for you. Or if you like to discuss nerdly things with the librarian villager, I bet that dude has some stories and just make sure that fence blocks off all the zombies. And that's what I have to say about that. Let's see some more zombies attacking the safety fence. Thank you for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe.